This is teacher Ibrahim Salama, English language teacher at the Nkhuldun schools, uh, Al Yasmin Primary. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome you in our first online lesson. Uh, we are going to go on in our book, starting from the point we stopped, we stopped at uh, uh, two weeks ago. So we are going to have a very quick review on Unit Nine, Lesson One which we have already studied uh, uh, two weeks ago as I said uh, we will uh, then we will start uh, listen to inshallah so I need you to open your Pyobles book on page 94 uh, as I told before uh, uh, in fact we we, st we have already started this lesson but we need to remember it to go on for the coming lesson so uh, listen carefully to the recording and try to follow it while listening to uh, uh, the recording i need you to follow the the recording very well while listening to it uh, because you're going to need this in our lesson today so listen carefully cd3 pupils book unit 9 page 94 doctors then and now Reading. The first doctors. Earliest times. All around the world, for thousands of years, people have been treating illness, disease, and pain. Archaeologists know about a dentist who worked 9,000 years ago in Pakistan. But the first doctor in history, who is known by name, is Imhotep. He treated King Zosa, the pharaoh of Egypt, 4,700 years ago. Greek and Roman doctors. The Greek doctor, Hippocrates, treated sick people 2,500 years ago. He believed that looking carefully at patients was important. This helped him to decide on the best treatment. Doctors do this today. 2,000 years ago, the Romans believed that cleanliness was good for people's health. They had big baths like swimming pools. They brought 1,000 million liters of water a day into the city for drinking, washing, and cleaning the streets and drains physicians in the Middle East. Doctors in the Middle East set up the first hospitals. The Persian doctor, Avicenna, wrote about medicine 1,000 years ago. His book was used for 800 years. He is sometimes called the father of modern medicine. He realized that some diseases can travel quickly from one person to another. European medicine. 200 years ago, some European doctors began to use microscopes to look at germs. Many doctors at that time did not understand that germs can be spread by healthy people through touch doctors did not wash their hands after they had touched sick people. Hospital cleanliness. In 1847, a Hungarian doctor named Semmelweis was working in a big hospital when he made an important discovery. He found that fewer patients died when
when the doctors washed their hands before they treated them. Semmelweis could show that hand washing was important, but the other doctors were angry. They did not like his ideas. They stopped him working in hospitals. He died forgotten and in disgrace, but he was right. In London, the surgeon Joseph Lister believed the same thing. He made sure that all hospital instruments were properly cleaned before and after operations. Fewer people died after operations. Florence Nightingale, the famous nurse, believed that good nursing needed cleanliness. She thought that the patients and the hospital ward had to be clean. She wrote instructions to her nurses. Open the windows to give patients fresh air. Let patients sit in sunlight for part of the day. Give them good food to eat. Give them clean water to drink. Clean the floor of the ward. Change the sheets on the beds. Wash the sheets. Wash the patients. Keep the drains clean. Keep it clean. Nowadays we know how important it is to keep things clean, but it was not obvious then. Many people did not think that Florence Nightingale's ideas were important. Modern nurses use disposable gloves. These protect patients from germs. If you cut yourself, you must clean the cut, but Always wash your hands first. Okay, now let's move to our lesson today, which is on page 96. Uh, if you look to the first exercise, reading comprehension and vocabulary, uh, the first exercise, one word in each sentence is wrong. Cross it out, write the correct word. So, we are going to read or we are going to have eight uh, sentences. In these sentences, you are going to read one word in each sentence is incorrect. It's wrong. So you're going to cross it out, then you're going to write the correct word at the end of the sentences. As usual, number one is done for you. Number one, archaeologists know about a doctor who worked 9,000 years ago. It's done for you. The wrong word is doctor and the correct one is dentist. So after we change it, the sentence will be archaeologists know about a dentist who worked 9,000 years ago. Okay, number two. Imhotep treated King Zosar, the pharaoh of England, 4,700 years ago. Of course, the, if you look at the sentence, you will know that the wrong word is England because Imhotep didn't treat King, uh, uh, the pharaoh of England he treated the pharaoh of Egypt correct so the second one is Egypt number three Hippocrates believed that looking carefully at patients was impossible can you tell me what is the incorrect word? Again, Hippocrates believed that looking carefully at patients was impossible. Excellent. So, we have the word impossible, it's incorrect, and the correct one is... That's it. Important. So, the new sentence will be, Hippocrates believed that looking carefully at patients was important. That's right. Number four. Two hundred years ago, the Romans believed cleaning was important. Again, 
200 years ago, the Romans believed cleaning was important. So, what is the incorrect word? That's it. So, the incorrect word is 100, and the correct one is yes, 1000. So, the correct sentence will be 2000 years ago, the Romans believed cleaning was important. Number five, the Romans used 1000 million liters of water a day for drinking, washing, and cleaning the streets and trains. Again, the Romans used 1000 million liters of water a day for drinking, washing, and cleaning the streets and trains. What is the incorrect word? Exactly, trains. They did not clean trains. In fact, they did not have trains at that time. So, the incorrect word is trains and the correct one is drains. D, not T. Okay, let's move to number six. Abyssinia realized that disease can travel quickly from one hospital to another. Abyssinia realized that disease can travel quickly from one hospital to another. The incorrect word is that's it, hospital. Diseases do not move or travel quickly from one hospital to another. It travels quickly from one patient or one person to another. Number seven. In 1847, a Hungarian doctor made an important disease. In 1847, a Hungarian doctor made an important disease. The incorrect word is disease, of course, and the correct one is, as you see, discovery. So, in 1847, a Hungarian doctor made an important discovery. Number eight, and the last one, Florence Nightingale, which is the famous nurse, wrote information to her nurses. The incorrect word is information, because she didn't write information to her nurses, she wrote exactly instructions. So Florence Nightingale wrote instructions for to her nurses. That's it. So our answers for the first one, dentist, second one, Egypt, then we have important, thousand, drains, person, discovery, and instructions. Okay, now we will move to exercise number two. In exercise two, think about the answers to these questions. Uh, as usual, uh, uh, the, the answers for these questions may vary from one student to another. This means that your answer may be different from your, uh, your friend's answer, and both ans answers are correct. Let's start now. Number one, why do you think Avicenna is sometimes called the father of modern medicine? In my point of view, I see that Avicenna is called the father of modern medicine because he wrote an important book about medicine and this book was used for about 800 years. Okay, number two, do you think the other doctor why sorry why do you think the other doctors were angry about Semmelweis ideas I see that they were angry with his ideas because he said that they have to clean or wash their hands before they treated patients he said that less patients died when doctors cleaned or washed their hands before treating them and I think they thought that he was insulting the him, uh, them by this way. Number three. 
Did anything in the text surprise you? What was it? For me, there was a piece of information which surprised me uh, that the Romans brought 100, 1,000 million liters of water to the city for drinking, for washing, and for cleaning the streets and drains. And in fact, this is a huge amount of water. Number four, would you like to be a doctor or a nurse? If you would like, why? And if you wouldn't like, why not? I think most of you would like to be doctors or nurses uh, to help uh, patients or to help other people. Okay, now let's move to exercise number three. In this exercise, uh, of course, you're going to check your dictionary or use it. Find the words. You have to find three words for people who work in hospitals and also you have to find three words for things doctors try to treat. So you are going in the first one. You are going to write three people or names of uh, or words for people working in hospitals. And in the second one, you are going to write three names of diseases or three name, names of things that doctors try to treat. For words or for people who work in hospitals, we can say doctor also we can say nurse and receptionist and for words for things uh, uh, doctors try to treat we can say headache stomach ache and earache by finishing exercise 3 we come to the end of our uh, uh, lesson today I hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching and see you inshallah in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.